Good morning, good morning, good morning. Pedro Nunez here, uh, CEO of IT Management Solutions, uh, coming to you actually talking about a specific article that I just read. Uh, thank you, Dr. Wu, for sharing that with me. Uh, basically, um, a pain management uh, uh, firm, which is basically a healthcare provider in the North Shore, north of Boston, Massachusetts, uh, actually got compromised on April 6th, and they actually found out about it on April 21st. So it literally just came out right now. 12,000 records were compromised. They stole uh, full names, addresses, social security numbers, credit cards, you name it. So why am I sharing this with you? If you're in the healthcare industry, or for that matter, any other industry that actually is very heavily regulated, you need compliance services, you wanna to listen to this. Because this is some of the things that make maybe uh, you can put an ounce of prevention and get that pound of cure later on, right? You work very hard to be where you are, and I don't want you to lose what you have because you were negligent. So, 12,000 records. I want to actually tell you what does that mean. Right now, if you read the article, they're following process. They actually had to get the FBI involved, okay? One of the things you have to do is actually let the authorities know what just happened. Uh, you also, hoping you have insurance, the insurance would assign an attorney, right? Now, from a financial point of view, you might say, yeah, my insurance covers it. Most people are underinsured. This is why I'm actually mentoring some of these things. And this is the next big punch over here. 12,000 records were compromised that they could figure out. However, let's assume their database had 20,000 records. If that is the case, they have to provide credit monitoring and identity theft services to each one of those records that are actually within their database. But let's just do the number with 12,000. If you got 12,000 records that were compromised, you're looking at about $25 average, give or take, on monitoring services per month per record. That equals to $300,000 a month, a month. And I'm pretty sure they have to provide these services for over a year, you know, for over a year period of time. So $300,000 times 12 months, that's $3.6 million. The average small business out there does not have the actual cybersecurity liability insurance to cover that amount of money, let alone cover a forensic company that needs to come in that's gonna be hired you know, uh, by the insurance company, right, to come in, and they actually gotta go ahead and, and, and do a forensic analysis to pinpoint exactly what happened, where did it came from, how did they get in, what was compromised, and actually come up with detailed information to actually prevent this in the future, hopefully, right? So that is going to be another fifty to $150,000, depending on the amount of records that you have, the severity, the complexity of your network, so it's, it's, it's a big gamma, but safely you can say 100 grand, right? So that's another 100,000. We are now into the $3.7 million just out of that. Secondly, this is a PR nightmare. Really, you know? Think about it. When their patients say, oh, I wasn't that practice and I got compromised. My, uh, I now have issues with credit, my, my mortgage, uh, financial issues, people got credit card in my name, all kinds of crazy stuff. The, war, the people will talk about it, the war will spread, and when that happens, my friends, coming back from that, it's pretty much almost impossible. So what I'm trying to say here, an ounce of prevention equals a pound of cure. So what do we need to do? We need to actually talk to a professional, right? You see that? IT Management Solutions. So talk to a professional. That professional will talk to you in regards to developing a strategy and that strategy is composed of multiple different layers working together to make sure that things like this don't happen. Some of the things that you can do very quickly, do not use antivirus, go to the next generation endpoint protection which is what you should be looking for. Number one, number two, make sure you have MDR, manage detection and response and that's tied to a security operations center that is a third party company that this is what they do. They monitor your actual environment, okay? Don't believe any uh, MSPs out there say, well, I do it myself. That's not real. That's a whole different industry. That's a whole different gorilla, okay? So make sure you have that. Next, make sure you have DNS. You have gateway security. Make sure your firewalls are up to date, meaning not, 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 not older than three, four years. Make sure that you think about every single uh, way that you operate your business and how can we integrate security into that, such as multi-factor authentication, single sign-on. There's a million other different things that we can talk about here from a technical point of view, but at the end of the day, guys, this just happened, you know? You can look it up online. The name of the company is North Shore Pain Management, uh, north of Boston, right? And they just got compromised, 12,000 records. What would that mean to you? Just try to imagine, you walk into your business, you got 12,000 patients, 20,000 patients, you work very hard to be there. And just picture that you were just told that you were compromised and that the authorities now have to get involved 
and you have to let the news know in every single one of those patients. And then you find out that you did not have the proper cyber liability insurance. <laughs> I, literally, you're, you're, you might go bankrupt, my friend. You know, you literally might lose it all. Uh, so are you willing to gamble with that? I don't, I don't, I wouldn't. So anyways, at the end of the day, here's the video. Please take precautions, sit down, really think about what it is that you're doing from a day-to-day basis, uh, day-to-day operation basis, you know, and then figure out what do I need to do or who do I can talk to to make sure that I am properly secure. You know, if you do not have anybody, we service companies throughout New England. We got several other companies that are nationwide. So we are more than help, uh, willing to have a quick conversation to talk to you about what's going on out there and how you can prevent this from happening. Okay, so hope this is helpful. Stay safe. Be good.